You guys are having a blessed day. This is a very quick video. I know um, I always share the gospel in the beginning of my videos. Well, the gospel is found in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, and that's that Jesus Christ died for our sins, was buried, and then the third rose from the death for our justification. Jesus always existed. He's the second person of the Godhead. Jesus left heaven, was born of a virgin, lived the perfect life, never sinned, and shed his precious blood on the cross of Calvary for the forgiveness of all our sins, past, present, and future. What God commands is that we believe this account concerning his son to receive eternal life for all our sins forgiven, and God will not remember them no more, okay? We also made heirs, okay, become part of the church, the body of Christ, and also the bride of Christ. I mean, there's so many promises that God has given to us once we believe. There is so much more than just going to heaven, guys. So much more, okay? But I'm here to tell you this. So be be believe this gospel, guys, okay? Testament concerning Jesus Christ and that his shed blood was sufficient to pay for all our sin debts, past, present, and future. You know, I want to talk about this particular subject here. You know, John the Baptist, a lot of people, false teachers, should I say, always trying to say that John the Baptist was preaching, you know, baptism of repentance of sins, you know, the, 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 that's what he was preaching. And uh, yeah, the people have to repent of their sins, blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm here to tell you, the Bible speaks otherwise, okay? You see, this is in the book of Acts, okay, after the facts, okay? The book of Acts, you will find the disciples of John the Baptist, in Acts 19. And let's find out what the Bible says concerning them, the encounter with Paul. And it came to pass that while Apollos was at Corinth, Paul, having passed through the upper coast, came to Ephesus. And finding certain disciples, he said unto them, Have ye received the Holy Ghost since ye believed? And they said unto him, We have not so much as heard whether there be an Holy Ghost. And he said unto them, Unto what then were ye baptized? And they said, Unto John's baptism. Then said Paul, John verily baptized with the baptism of repentance, saying, Hear this out, guys, unto the people that they should believe on him which should come after him. That is, on Christ Jesus. You didn't hear nothing about repentance of sins here, did you now? See, John the Baptist preached the baptism of repentance, change your mind. So from your unbelief to believing on the Messiah, the coming Messiah, that is what the whole idea of repentance is. Again, metanoia, change of mind, is not repenting of sins, guys. Even here, the Bible makes it clear again. So this is not up for debate. It's not up for argument. It's right in your faces, guys, okay? Right in your faces. So these are people who are disciples of uh, John the Baptist. And look what it said. Let's just finish it off anyway. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. See why? Because they believed what Paul just told them concerning Christ. Instant baptism. And when Paul had laid his hands upon them, the Holy Ghost came upon them, came on them, and they spake with tongues and prophesied. And all the men were about twelve. So 12 of them, okay? This is also, there was, there, was, there was also another instance that took place as well. It's not just here. I mean, I'm telling you guys, for <laughs> please stop changing definitions, guys, okay? The repentance here, the repentance in the Bible, has always been about a change of mind, okay? You see, we say how God repented many times. Was was he repenting of sins? No, he cannot sin. He only changes his mind. Likewise, when it comes to salvation, we're not repenting of sins because we'll be pretty much lying if we say that we change our mind and sin. Because then, anytime we sin, we just lied again because we just said that we change our mind on it. I mean, do you see the problem with that? People tell you to repent of sin for salvation. That is a false pretense. Because no one has repented of sins for salvation. And God knew that we couldn't because our flesh is weak. Hence why he made salvation his own doing. So that we'd have nothing to do with it. All we have to do is just accept 
what he's done for us. That's it. Because we will mess it up. He knows that. Perfect example. Abraham, he is called a friend of God. God called him his friend. Yet, when God made promise to Abraham, did he mess up? You bet you he did. Because he, he decided to, you know, <laughs> you know, help God out. That's what we do as human beings. And God says, I don't want your help because you always mess stuff up. Just trust and believe in what God has done for you guys. Okay? It's that simple. Anyway, y'all have a blessed day. Peace.